week 16 of fantasy football season and as of now recording this video none of these players have been placed on the COVID or safety protocol list or they're injured so the first guy Justin Tucker of the Baltimore Ravens so Tucker we know he's one of the best kickers in fantasy football and we know each and every week he's up there in the top of the scoring chart there so this week he, he's got a good matchup at Cincinnati that gives up the 19th most fantasy points to kickers on the season. And the last few games here for Tucker. Week 13 at Pittsburgh 6. Week 14 at Cleveland 15. Week 15 versus Green Bay 6. So this week here at Cincinnati, I think he has a good ball game. Is Tucker. I know in week 7 versus Cincinnati, he only had 7 fantasy points. But right here, this Baltimore team now, they got to win the next few games here. I don't know why they went for 2 the last couple weeks here. They just got to trust going into overtime. And when you got a kicker like Justin Tucker on your team, you go to overtime, you hope your defense makes a stop, and then you get in decent field goal range for him to win the ball game. But anyway, this week here versus Cincinnati, I think he has a good game, and it wouldn't surprise me to see him score 12 or more fantasy points this week. The second guy, Daniel Carlson of the Vegas Raiders. So Daniel Carlson, he's been a solid kicker this season here with a few hiccups. Here and there, but the last few games for him, week 12 at Dallas, 19, week 13 versus Washington, 11, week 14 at Kansas City, 0, and then week 15 at Cleveland, 11. So right here last week, he won the ball game with a walk-off field goal at Cleveland. And now this week here, good matchup at home versus the Denver Broncos, which is a defense that bends but don't break type of defense. I could see this division matchup be a low-scoring type of game where it's grinded out and we see a lot of field goals. So I think Carlson this week hits double digits. He's been a solid kicker this season, like I mentioned. And I like him in number two this week. Number three, Greg Zerline of the Dallas Cowboys. So this Cowboy offense, they just haven't been punching the ball into the end zone. And they've been settling for field goals, which obviously helps Greg the leg Zerline. So Zerline the last few games here. Week 13 at New Orleans 11. Week 14 at Washington 12. 15 at the New York Giants. Only four fantasy points. But that's because he missed two extra points in that game. So right here, week 16, they versus Washington again is Dallas. And if they win this ball game, they wrap up the NFC East here. And are the division champs once again. So right here, Greg Zerline, he's a good kicker. He's pretty accurate. Primetime ball game. And I think he has another good game here versus Washington. Anywhere from 10 to 12 fantasy points. Number four, Tyler Bass. Of the Buffalo Bills so Tyler Bears here he's been in a slump I'm not gonna lie over the last few weeks here but some bad weather conditions and just not opportunities as well here for Bears but this week here at New England I think it's gonna be a grinded out AFC East type of matchup like it was in week 13 versus New England on that windy Monday night football game so the last few games here for Bears week 13 versus New England 4 week 14 at Tampa 7 week 15 versus Carolina 6 so right here this week here I think he finally reaches double digits after he's failed to do that since week 8 versus the Miami Dolphins. Because Bass, he still has got one of the best legs in pro football. He's still one of the clutcher kickers, in my opinion, in pro football. And this week here in a big division matchup, I think he comes through and has a big game. Number 5, Nick Folk, was staying in the same game of the New England Patriots. And Nick Folk, he's been probably the best fantasy kicker in terms of consistency and points this season here for fantasy owners. Week 13 at Buffalo 7 and week 15 at Indianapolis 4. But this week here, I think he's going to get more opportunities. This Buffalo Bill defense is pretty solid, no doubt about it. But like I mentioned, it's going to be a close game. I think both teams, they're going to take any points they could knowing both defenses are pretty solid here for New England and Buffalo. And Nick Folk, like I mentioned, he's been a clutch kicker this season here. And hitting it even at his older age since he's been in the league since 2007. So Nick Folk here, he's a veteran. He's a good kicker. And big moments in this ball game. I think he's going to hit some clutch field goals here. And it wouldn't surprise me to see him hit double digits. Number six, Matt Gay of the Los Angeles Rams. So Matt Gay, one of the best kickers as well this season here. And he's in one of the best offenses in the league with the Los Angeles Rams. In the last few weeks here, he's been putting up huge numbers. Week 13 versus Jacksonville, 15. Week 14 at Arizona, 14. And week 15 versus Seattle, 10. So right here, great matchup indoors at Minnesota that gives up the fifth most fantasy points to kickers on the season. So I think Matt Gay, he's a lock pretty much each and every week to get 8 to 10 fantasy points. And I think he hits that mark once again here because this definitely could be a shootout between the Rams and Minnesota 
where both offenses have a lot of good weapons and good key players. Number seven, Matt Prater of the Arizona Cardinals. So Matt Prater, he's been a solid kicker for a decade now in this league here. And last week, it was a letdown versus former team, the Detroit Lions. Only four fantasy points. But that isn't his fault, is Prater here. So this week here, I think he bounces back in a Saturday night ball game, which I think this could be a shootout between the Indianapolis Colts and the Arizona Cardinals. I know the Colts give up the second least amount of fantasy points to kickers on the season. But right here, I think Matt Prater in this one has a good ball game. And we know he's an accurate kicker. We know he could kick the deep ball. The other good thing, this ball game is in a dome once again. And the last few weeks for Prater, week 13 at Chicago 8, Week 14 versus the Rams, 16. And week 15, like I mentioned, that Detroit is former team. Only four. But this week here, I think he bounces back. And he has anywhere from seven to nine fantasy points. Number eight, Michael Badgley of the Indianapolis Colts. So right here, like I mentioned with Prater, this is going to be a shootout. Badgley, he's pretty much a guy you could pencil in each and every week for seven or more fantasy points. And I think this week here, he definitely could do it versus Arizona Cardinal defense which is a bend-but-don't-break type of D. So the last few weeks here for Badgley, Week 12 versus Tampa Bay 8, Week 13 at Houston 6, and Week 15 versus New England 9. So right here, he puts up numbers. He's been a accurate kicker. This is why we haven't seen Rodrigo Blankenship back besides the injury here. And this week at Arizona, I think he drills a few field goals. And I got him in number 8 this week, number 9, Greg Joseph of the Minnesota Vikings. So Joseph here, it's been a good season for him in his first year with the Minnesota Vikings. And finally getting a chance to play each and every week. We've seen him bounce around the league a few times with the Cleveland Browns and other teams on their practice squad. So the last few weeks here for Joseph. Week 13 at Detroit 10. Week 14 versus Pittsburgh 10. And week 15 at Chicago 5. So week 16 here. Decent matchup versus the Rams that have been but don't break defense. That gives up the 13th most fantasy points to kick is on the season. I've gotten a lot of questions about Joseph over the last few days here. So now with the kicker rankings coming out, I got nine this week here. So for other kickers I mentioned ahead of him, yes, you play them or pick them up over Joseph. But this week here, I got Joseph at number nine, number 10, Young Hoku of the Atlanta Falcons. So Young Hoku, he's been an accurate kicker throughout his career. Last season, obviously, he was a top five kicker in fantasy football. This week here, great matchup versus Detroit. That gives up the most fantasy points to kickers on the year. So the last few games here for Koo, week 13 versus Tampa 4. Week 14 at Carolina 12. And week 15 at San Francisco 7. So right here, week 16 versus Detroit. I think he'll get anywhere from 7 to 10 fantasy points. They give up the most fantasy points, like I mentioned, to kickers. And I could see this ball game being a mini shootout with Detroit and Atlanta. So Young Hoku, as long as he gets opportunities 9 out of 10 times, he's going to sink the field goal. And this week, he, I think he gets more opportunities. And his number 10, number 11, Evan McPherson of the Cincinnati Bengals. So it's been an impressive rookie year here for Evan McPherson. He's been kicking the football well. He's definitely got one of the best long-range boots already in all of pro football. In the last few weeks for him, week 13, Versus the Chargers, three points. Week 14 versus San Francisco, 11. And week 15 at Denver, 12. So right here in a tough matchup versus Baltimore. That gives up the seventh least amount of fantasy points to kick his here. I'm going to tame her down my project projections a little here for Evan McPherson. But I still think he ends up with seven or eight fantasy points. Going back to that week seven game versus Baltimore. He did have 13 fantasy points. But I don't think he puts up that number this week here. But seven or eight is definitely a possibility, and I got him in number 11 this week, and the 12th and final kick here I'm ranking this week's Ryan Suckup of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Suckup here last week got shut out, but that wasn't his fault. The Bucks got shut out in that ball game, and Suckup even missed a chip shot as well, but I think he bounces back this week. I think everything gets right for Tampa Bay at Carolina, even though they're missing Leonard Fournette, Godwin, and most likely Mike Evans for this ball game with injuries. But the last few weeks here for Suckup, week 13 at Arizona 4, week 14 versus Buffalo 7, and like I mentioned last week, zero fantasy points. But right here with a good matchup at Carolina, where I think this team is going to go up and down the field, getting some reinforcements back as well with Antonio Brown coming back, Le'Veon Bell signing, even though I don't think he's going to get much of work in this game. I think this Tampa Bay team bounces back. Tom Brady's fired up and ready to go. And I think Suckup will be in position 
to have a decent fantasy day kicking the ball. So that's the top 12 kickers I'm ranking here for week 16 of the fantasy football season.